Right then, chaps, let's talk jet engines, specifically the Shenyang WS10 and the Saturn AL31. These fire-breathing monsters propel advanced fighter jets. The WS10, developed in China, is a bit of an underdog. The AL31, a Russian stalwart, is tried and tested. The WS10 powers the Chengdu J10, a symbol of China's aerospace prowess. The AL31 powers the Sukhoi Su-27, a proven powerhouse. Two titans of thrust, each with their own story. A proper head-to-head, -head, a battle of the best. Let's talk grunt, shall we? Because when it comes to jet engines, it's all about how much oomph they can deliver. The AL-31, the Russian veteran, packs a punch, delivering around 27,500 pounds of thrust in its most powerful variant. That's enough to push the Su-27 to supersonic speeds to make it climb like a homesick angel. The WS-10, not to be outdone, boasts a similar thrust output, pushing out around 26,000 pounds in its latest iterations. It's catching up fast, nipping at the heels of the AL-31. Now, thrust isn't everything. It's about how efficiently that thrust is generated. The AL-31, being an older design, isn't the most fuel-efficient engine out there. The WS-10, benefiting from more modern design principles, is a bit more frugal with the fuel. The AL-31 has a rich history, a story of innovation and perseverance. Developed in the Soviet era, it represented a significant leap forward. It was a complex beast, full of intricate parts, a testament to Soviet engineers' skill. The WS-10 had a different path, heavily influenced by the AL-31. Chinese engineers learned its secrets and improved upon it with newer technologies. They created an engine to rival its Russian counterpart. Section 4. Reliability and Upkeep Keeping the engines roaring Now, reliability is a big deal when it comes to jet engines. The AL-31, despite its age, has proven to be a relatively reliable engine. It's tough, built to withstand the rigors of combat. The WS-10, being a newer engine, has had its share of teething problems. Early versions suffered from reliability issues, which is not uncommon for new engine designs. However, Chinese engineers have been working hard to address these issues and the latest versions of the WS-10 are said to be much more reliable. Maintaining these beasts is no easy task. The WS-10, being a more modern design, is generally easier to maintain. Section 5. Strengths and Weaknesses A Comparative Analysis Let's weigh up the pros and cons, shall we? The AL-31's strength lies in its proven track record. It's a battle-tested engine with decades of service under its belt. Its weakness, however, is its age. It's not the most fuel-efficient or technologically advanced engine out there. The WS-10's strength lies in its modernity. It incorporates newer technologies, offering better fuel efficiency and potentially greater performance. Its weakness, however, is its relative lack of operational experience. It hasn't been tested in the crucible of combat like the AL-31. The AL-31, despite its age, remains a formidable engine. The WS-10, however, is catching up fast. It represents China's ambition to become a leader in the aerospace industry. Section 6. Global Standing and Future Prospects the future of thrust. So, where do these two engines stand in the global market? The AL-31 has a strong presence, powering numerous Russian and foreign aircraft. It's a well-established player, a familiar face on the international stage. The WS-10, being a newer engine, is still building its reputation. It's primarily used in Chinese aircraft, but it has the potential to find its way into other markets. The future of the WS-10 looks bright. With continued development and refinement, it could become a major player in the global engine market. The AL-31, however, is not going to disappear anytime soon. It remains a reliable and affordable option for many countries. The battle between these two engines is far from over.